coffee cake is the perfect way to start your day or enjoy an afternoon break. Joining us now with her recipe for dirty chai coffee cake, we welcome back professional baker Megan Diaz. Great to see Hi, you. Good to see you too. I was just saying, we always get excited when you know that you're going to stop by with <laughs> something scrumptious. Well, I hope I uh, brought something good today. So. Well, you can't go wrong with coffee cake, yeah. but I'm interested to hear your take with the dirty chai twist. Yeah, so it's kind of a take on that classic um, coffee drink that you can get at your your favorite coffee shop. Mm -hmm. And so it's just a chai tea that you can add some espresso shots right. to just to give you Best a little of extra. Both worlds. Yeah, so coffee and tea. Um, so I just packed the streusel with coffee flavor and chai spices. And Fun. then, yeah, made like a nice vanilla cake underneath. So I love that. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and start with the best part of okay. coffee cake, and that's the streusel. It's so <laughs> yummy. <laughs> so good. So if you want to start mixing this together, okay. so in here I have a quarter cup of brown sugar okay. and uh, regular sugar, and you'll kind of mix that together. Okay. And then we're going to add um, four teaspoons of espresso powder. Ooh. So there's our coffee. I love that. And then we're going to add our chai spices. So we've okay. got cinnamon, ginger, cloves, nutmeg, um, and some cardamom. Okay. And then a little bit of salt. Okay. And once that kind of comes together, you can add that butter. And then you're just going to mix it until that butter is all nice and okay. incorporated. So it's going to be kind of a moist crumb is sure. what you're kind of looking okay. for. That's a yeah. nice healthy helping oh, yeah. of butter in there. Yeah. I can, it does kind of smell like that chai tea smell mm -hmm. when all the spices are coming together Yeah, in here. exactly. So. Okay. And then I'll get started on the cake part of it. So I started by creaming some, um, a cup of sugar and a stick of butter. Okay. And then we're going to add two eggs to that. Do you do salted or unsalted for that? I do unsalted butter. Okay. And that way I can control how much salt goes into it. Right. Um, because some brands have some different levels of salt in their um, yeah. butter, so this way you have total control. There you, you go. You can add as little as or as much as you want, but I always suggest add some salt because it just helps balance all yeah, your definitely. flavors together. So you're just going to mix until the eggs are incorporated. And then I went kind of heavy on the vanilla in this just oh, to kind of yes. bring in some more vanilla flavor, which we all love with chai. Yeah. So I did four teaspoons in the cake. Oh, that is quite a bit. Yeah. Okay. But that kind of makes sense with, with all the spices going into the streusel. Exactly. They'll play really nicely yeah. together. So we'll mix that together. And then, then while that's mixing, I'm going to mix my dry ingredients together. I have two cups of all-purpose flour. Okay. And then this is our leavening. We have one and a half teaspoons of baking powder a teaspoon of baking soda, and then a little bit more salt, so okay. about a teaspoon of salt there. We're just gonna mix that together until it's incorporated. Now, how crumbly am I wanting this That's mixture to be? perfect. Okay. Because the best part about streusel is there's some big ones and then some little ones, there you and go. it's all kind of great. Okay. And then our liquid for our cake is gonna be sour cream today. Whoa. Which I think is a great Ooh. option for coffee cakes. Sure. It's a nice, kind of bitter, great, gives great moisture all that kind of stuff. Okay. So we're going to do um, a mixing method for our cake where we're going to alternate our dry and our wet together. Okay. So we're going to add half of our dry ingredients. And this just ensures that everything gets incorporated really nicely. Okay. You don't end up with any flour pockets. Um, this so is the part where I'm reading the recipe and I skip the part where it says to to alternate, alternate it. Yeah, and everything yeah. comes out kind of a mess <laughs> and I go, where did I go wrong? Yeah, so just mix in a, the ha that first little bit of flour. Okay. And it doesn't have to be exact, just a precise half amount. Sure. And then half of our sour cream. Oh man. So this is a cup of sour cream. And use full fat in this one. Oh yeah. Yeah. I well, tried it with cake. I tried it with non-fat and no. it just it doesn't come out the same. So definitely splurge and go for the full fat yeah, on the sour cream. Yeah, not for a baking situation. Yeah. And then we'll add the rest. Now some people won't even pick up a cake if they think there's sour cream in it, but yeah. I think that's their problem. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's got good it's tang. Not like, yeah, it's not like you taste it. Nope, you don't taste in it. In its raw form like that. But it adds fantastic moisture to your cake. And I that's love what it, we yeah. all look for in a cake is that nice, moist crumb. And so and when you've got lots of sweetness in there too, it's yeah. really nice. So I've lined an eight by eight baking pan. Okay. A little trick I do is cut slits yeah, in the that. corners and then it just nestles right into the cake pan Perfect. for you. Yeah, which is great. Okay. And then you're not dealing with any weird overhangs or yep. it sits no flush in the- No more geometry needed here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
All right, so we're just mixing this until it all comes together. Okay. And then we get a smooth batter. Oh, that looks exactly how I want it to. Yeah. Yum. And then we'll pour this into the cake pan. Okay. And then we'll spread it out. This is, I'm getting so excited. <laughs> This is the best part. It it's is kind of a thick dough too. It is a little bit kind thick. Kind of more like a cookie dough almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a thicker batter, kind of like a pound cake batter. Yeah. But that gives it, you kind of need a little bit of structure to hold all that cr uh, sure. streusel on top. So, and just spread it out nice and even. Okay. And then this is the best part. This is gonna be such a nice helping for everybody here. Yeah. Okay. Now Gotta we're need talking. a little afternoon pick me up. It does look like we're making one giant cookie, and I'm very excited <laughs> about that. Why not? Yep. <laughs> All right, and then we'll just use our hands. Okay. And we'll just sprinkle, sprinkle. the streusel on top. Yeah, if you want to sprinkle that on top. Okay, and don't be shy, Don't right? be shy. It just all goes on there. The oh, my yeah. gosh. All right, well, then. It's the best part, so. It really is. Yeah. It's kind of the star of the show. But I had fun uh, creating this one because it's a definitely a de delicate balance between too much streusel and not enough streusel. Oh, so you've I tried made the mistake, and I put too much streusel, and it was just How? Like, the cake was just a brick underneath. Oh, <laughs> I, like, I see. I, was I like, see. Okay, We've hit the too much You did part. do the math for us. <laughs> yes. Good thing. But this is a good amount. So, and then I just kind of press it a little bit into the pan. Just but so not too much. Yeah, just so it sticks to the top of the cake batter. Oh, okay. And then we'll bake this at 350 um, for 45 minutes to about an hour. Okay. You're just looking to insert a toothpick into the middle and you want a few moist crumbs to still be on it. So not totally Ooh. clean. Okay. Because it's gonna sit in the pan and kind of continue to bake a little bit once you pull it out. Okay. Let it sit in the pan for about 10 minutes, then pop it out. Okay. And then you can slice it and up. And then you've achieved it. perfection. Yes. Which and then I'm this is what we've grab got one right of these. Here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. We're going in. Why not? This is what you do with a real snack in the afternoon. Exactly. Cheers. Oh gosh, I'm gonna take a gigantic bite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. That's happiness. Yeah. Mmm. I love that. You do the, get that dirty chai flavor. Mm -hmm. mm. But just a nice little coffee cake. Yeah, exactly. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Great to see you. Good to see you too. <laughs> Thank you so much. We'll have more information on our website at katu.com. We'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.